If you're hoping to get a dog breeder's permit anytime soon in the city of L.A., well, think again. The city just put the brakes on the entire process with the moratorium that stays in effect indefinitely. Let's get to NBC4's Gordon Takamatsu live in Reseda to explain why. Gordon. Well, Akala, we came to this dog park to find out what people are saying about this new ordinance. Most had not heard about it, but they will now because it affects dogs of all kinds. The vote at this morning's council meeting, unanimous. Co-sponsor Unices Hernandez outlining the issue from what staffers at six city-run shelters have been reporting to her. There has been an influx of purebred dogs being dropped off at our shelters. Hernandez says the causes for this range from too few apartment units that allow pets to people getting rid of dogs after adopting them during the pandemic. But she says the city continued issuing breeding permits at the same time, 1,100 in just the first half of 2023. The impetus for this motion is to encourage people to adopt their pets from the shelter and to stop going to the breeders. The moratorium, basically banning dog breeders from doing business, is temporary. Once shelters are at or below 75% capacity for three consecutive months, it would be lifted. I volunteered in rescue for many years. Rachel Purse is a lifelong dog fan who personally knows many breeders. She wonders if the moratorium will have much of an effect on the influx of purebreds in the shelters, because she believes those come mostly from unscrupulous breeders, not those who go through the licensing process. Still, it is a start. I do think doing something over nothing probably would help. The American Kennel Club, largest organization of purebred dog fanciers, issued a statement decrying the ordinance. AKC recognizes and shares concerns about the city's animal shelters, it says, but we have strong concerns about responses designed to send a signal or scapegoat responsible breeders. The organization says the city should do a better job at enforcement of existing laws rather than focus on those who properly document their animals for sale or adoption. We reached out to more than half a dozen breeders who actually operate in the city of Los Angeles. Only one of them called us back. She did not want to be interviewed, but she says this ordinance will just cause some unscrupulous breeders to go underground, thereby not solving that problem. Reporting live from Reseda, Gordon Tokumatsu, NBC4 News.